Tell me what you've got here. Uh, we did a kind of an outdoor woodland area for our uh, friends and neighbors just to kind of celebrate the festive season. And my girlfriend, Jenny Whitborn and I, we did the cabin and we painted it and I built it. And we're hoping to get some donations to go to the food bank. Is this the first year you've done the food bank Yes, thing? this is the first year. But this isn't the first year you've done no, this No, no, they call me the Christmas Griswold around the street, so. And I know it's obvious, but explain why. I just, I love Christmas. I've always been a big kid at Christmas. And even a couple of years ago, my wife passed away. I wasn't going to put Christmas decorations outside, but my son said, Dad, did we have to? So from then, it just skyrocketed into going very festive for Christmas. And that. So I really like the seeing all the lights and we keep them on till almost the end of January just because Christmas and that, especially the beginning of the year is a very dull and dark time for a lot of people. So it's nice to have a bit of extra lights in their life. Who enjoys it more, you or the neighborhood? Probably me. I come out here a lot of times and just sit and, and that and watch the lights and that. But it's and beautiful. Eh? All, we, all we need is snow, I guess. Yes, yes. Hopefully we get some snow here and it will look a little bit more Christmassy out there. But actually it looked quite nice there when all the leaves were around there. It looked quite wooded, but I did rake them up because they were blown all over the place. So. Yeah. And if anybody would like to make a donation, you've got a box out front. Talk yes. a little bit about that. Yes, we've, we've already got about a bin full of uh, food that I'm going to bring in next tomorrow night to the food bank. So if anybody would like to donate and come by and see the lights, they were more than welcome to. And it would be very nice if they could help our community.